This week's Kentucky History Treasure gives us a glimpse into the history and artifacts from a place that was part rehabilitation center, working farm, music venue, and federal prison. The Kentucky Historical Society's Doug High has the story. The rise and fall of America's first prison for drug addicts. It happened here in Kentucky at Lexington's Narcotic Farm. We revisit those steps forward and back through a collection of artifacts at the Kentucky Historical Society. The Narcotic Farm was a federal funded prison, rehabilitation center, and research center in Lexington, Kentucky between 1935 and 1974. The farm is a federal penitentiary, but instead of being like lock em up jail, it is a working farm. Folks go there, and if you are caught with a federal narcotics issue, um, and you are east of the Mississippi, or you are a woman throughout the country, you are sent to Lexington. Its mission, to understand drug addiction, rehabilitate inmates addicted to drugs, and find a permanent cure. Folks, their addicts are trying to make sure that they have their fix, um, would try to smuggle in both narcotics and the ways that narcotics are transferred into your body. So we have a book that's hollowed out um, and people are putting their needles and their vials in it. We have purses in the same way with the cut lining. There are doctor's kits and any number of things about how people were treated and we're also trying to self-medicate. The other thing that's really interesting about this facility for that I find really interesting is that you could check yourself in. And some of those folks that are check-ins are pretty famous. William S. Burroughs, some pretty famous jazz musicians. Um, and they come to Lexington for what they call the Lexington treatment. You know, people will talk, if you read about it, talk about the narcotics farm having the best jazz band in the country. Um, and there are advertisements for Lexingtonians to come out and hear the patients play, to come to concerts on the lawn. There's also a pretty heavy dance culture. Patients would have dances, the bands would play. The narcotic farm taught us much about the treatment of addiction, but with some success also came serious missteps that ultimately put an end to this particular model. We also strike out sometimes when we experiment on how to do this. And so that same community of care um, wasn't as controlled as maybe it could have been. And there were some interpersonal abuses and some other things that were happening by the, the late 60s and early 70s that become investigated. And so the, federal, the Nixon administration um, chooses to defund some of these programs and start funding local efforts to treat within a locality. To learn more about Narcotic Farm of Lexington, please visit our archive online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfort, I'm Doug High.